Before I start my presentation, please let me introduce myself. I am Ravi Maddali and pursuing my master's in electrical and electronics engineering. My instructor is Perry Headley and my topic of interest is latest image compression techniques. Before getting into the topic, I would like to define the term image compression. It is the reduction of the amount of the data required to represent the digital image by removing the redundant data. Without compression, file size is significantly larger, usually several megabytes. But with compression, it is possible to reduce the file size to 10% of the original without noticeable loss in quality. There are two main reasons behind the process of image compression redundancy reduction and relevancy reduction. Redundancy reduction aims at removing duplication from the signal source and irrelevancy reduction refers to omitting parts of the signal that will not be noticed by the human eye. These are the steps to be followed as a part of image compression process. First, the original image is sent to the source encoder unit. The source encoder unit digitalizes the source image into signal which is a string of numbers and the result is sent to the quantization unit. Quantization is the process of compressing a range of values to a single quantum value. When the number of discrete symbols in a given stream is reduced, the stream becomes more compressible. For example, reducing the number of colors required to represent a digital image makes it possible to reduce its file size. There are two types of quantizations, color quantization and frequency quantization. Now, the result from the quantization unit is sent to the entropy coding unit. One of the main types of entropy coding creates and assigns a unique prefix code to each unique symbol that occurs in the input. These entropy encoders then compress data by replacing each fixed length input symbol with the corresponding variable length prefix output code word and hence the result of the entropy coding unit is the compressed image. There are two types of image compression, lossless compression and lossy compression. Lossless compression means that you are able to reconstruct the exact original data from the compressed data. Image quality is not reduced when using lossless compression. Unlike lossless compression, lossy compression reduces image quality. You can't get the original image back after using lossy compression methods you will lose some information. The most widely used methods of lossless compression in images are run length encoding, entropy coding and dictionary coders. Run length encoding is just representing long sequences of some data by shorter form. For example, A A A B B B C C C can be expressed as 3 A 3b and 3c. Entropy encoding assigns codes to symbols so that symbols that occur most frequently take the shortest codes. The most common entropy encoding technique is Huffman coding. Dictionary coders build a table of strings and then replace occurrences of them by shorter codes. Lossy compression is usually based on techniques by removing details that the human eye typically doesn't notice. Digital images are composed of pixels that represent color information. When a pixel differs only slightly from its neighbor, its value can be replaced there. 
This will lose some information but it is usually barely noticeable with human eye if the algorithm is good enough. Here is an another example to distinguish lossy image compression and lossless image compression. Consider the number shown on the screen. This string can be compressed as 25.98 as there are 9 eights in it. It means the original string is perfectly recreated just written in a smaller form. Whereas in lossy system it is written as 26. Instead the exact original data is lost at the benefit of a shorter representation. Now we are going to discuss about the latest image compression technique which is called wavelet image data compression. It consists of the following steps image preparation, transformation, quantization and encoding. The first step is the source image is digitalized into signals which are a string of numbers. Then decompose the signal into a sequence of wavelet coefficients. Use the thresholding to modify the wavelet coefficients from W to another sequence W dash. Use quantization to convert W dash to a sequence Q and at the end apply entropy coding to compress Q into a sequence E. Transformation refers to the color transformation of the image from RGB to YCBCR color space. In this case less information is spread over channels which reduces redundancy. These are the few reasons why wavelet based compression is preferred over other image compression techniques. No need to block the input image and its basis functions have variable length to avoid blocking artifacts. And also the inverse transform is exactly as easy to apply as the transform itself. And even though the rough thresholding is worse, the reconstructed signal still follows the shape of the original signal quite well except in the neighborhood of points where the signal oscillates heavily. Here you can see the difference in two types of compressions. The left one is the result of wavelet image compression and the right one is the result of JPEG image compression. Since JPEG comes under the lossy compressions, you can see the difference between both the images. Exact original image cannot be produced using JPEG image conversion. Finally, I would like to conclude my topic with a brief mention of few points. Image compression is of high importance in reducing the consumption of expensive resources such as hard disk space and also it has wide range of applications in the field of digital electronics and medical sciences. I would like to thank my instructor Mr. Heedley for his valuable guidance and mentoring me throughout my research. I also want to thank all my classmates for extending their support and being patient in my presence. Thank you.